Hey guys, HK Strongside here. Weather's nice, thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to install these splash guards that I picked up for my new Jetta TDI. Should be an easy install and uh, look great when we're done. So let's get to it. All right, let's take a look at the hardware. Pick these up at the local uh, Volkswagen dealership out here. I asked for a deal and uh, they gave it to me. Never hurts to ask for a little bit of a discount. A lot of times you can get it. Um, it's important to note that there are different flaps for the front and the rear, so you'll want to make sure you pick up one of each. Inside we've got our instructions. For, luckily there's pictures because I don't speak German. And it looks like we're going to need a 5 millimeter bit, some channel locks, a couple wrenches, a Torx T25, some nips and a punch. Alright, doesn't look too bad. And we got our flaps themselves, a little hardware packet, doesn't look too bad. We'll be done in no time. Alright, I've already gone ahead and lifted it up. The part we're going to be working on, obviously, is the rear portion of the wheel well here. So let's get started. Alright, so the first part about this install is we need to take out these two screws right here. So let's go ahead and just do that really fast. Now we're going to take the flap, we're going to go ahead and line it up, make sure that that's underneath. Okay, once you've got it in place, make sure it's lined up with the two previous screw holes. You're going to use two of the new uh, screws that they provide because they are a little bit longer than the old ones. So let's go ahead and put those in. Everything looks good, now I'm going to go ahead and switch out my Works for drill bit. I'm actually using a 3 16 because I don't have a 5 millimeter and this is just so that the screw can pass through. I'm going to go ahead and just bypass one of the steps. I'm not going to use a punch. I'm just going to drill it out. Now here's the other place that we're going to have to drill a hole through. So uh, kind of on the ground here I'm going to just drill that without filming it. Now as I got under here I realized there's actually a rivet right there. So that's gonna provide our hole for us. I'm gonna go get a smaller drill bit and just drill that out, and run it right through there, which is probably what they intended anyway. So uh, here we go. All right, I decided to just take the flap back off so that I could easily get at the rivet and not damage the pre-cut hole on the flap. And the rivet's now out. And we're ready to rock and roll. Let's get this thing going. All right, the next step is to install these clamps. So let's just put those on there. Give them a whack with a rubber mallet. One's going on pretty easy. Probably just push them on. So for the next step, Looks like it's going to have us reuse the two screws that we originally took out. We also need to use these nylon bolts and a 10 millimeter. So uh, one's going to go in here and then the other one's going to go up underneath. So let's go ahead and do that now. There's our screw poking through. Let's take one of these nylon bolts, nuts. Just going to put it in place there. Finger tight and then I'll use the... 10 millimeter socket to tighten her down. Go ahead and do the same. Apologize for the shaky filming here, laying down on the ground. I'm gonna do this all with one hand. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those down and this one's done. All right, that looks nice. Looking good. Yeah, I like that. Now if I only had 17 inch rims, right? Next time, right? So I got over here on the other side. I'm on the passenger side rear. And this is a little bit different. On the other side we had a rivet. This time we've got a bolt. There's actually two holes. So I think what I'm gonna do is on the other side of this uh, screw here is a metal clip. I'm just gonna go ahead and drill a new hole here in this little flap 
and use that metal clip instead of one of those nylon nuts. I think that'll work out good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There's the new hole with the bolt screw in it. There's that one. That was a little tricky to get up in there. Had to retool with my smaller 10 millimeter. All right, on to the front. Now we're uh, going to work on the front here. So first step, take these out. And we're going to go ahead and fit this on here. Line it up. I'm not really sure what this does yet. I think right now we're just supposed to fit it on to be able to mark the screw holes. Put those in. All right, now I'm actually going to use my center punch to mark these holes. Go ahead and drill those out. Now we take these clips here, and these go over the holes. Just like that. This is kind of important. The top piece here has this flap that bends around and it actually goes on the back side of the metal here. So when you put it on for the last time, make sure you slide that in the hole there so that it, you can easily get to that. Visually inspect, make sure that's where you want. Looks good. All right, very nice. So there's this piece here that has a little lip on it and that's gonna go right in there, just like that. But before we do that, we need to take this clamp here and this is the part that's gonna go behind the body. So we'll arrange it like this, slide it in these grooves, put it in place and start to work it in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and clamp it in with my hands here. Okay, we're gonna go underneath now. This is gonna be a tricky part. See these two flanges here? We're gonna take this clamp and it's gonna go Oops. on right like that and clamp that down. The instructions are saying we need to trim a little bit of this off right here so that it can go all the way up against the body. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that with a pair of wire cutting. Well, that's what it looks like on. Not so sure how well that's going to hold up, but hmm. interesting. All right, that's it for this wheel. On to the next. Well, I want to show you guys something here on the, uh, I'm on the passenger side front, and um, this is actually the proper way that this C-clamp needs to go on with the bolt towards the middle of the car. So it's going to be on this side. And these little, these have these little divots that bite in on the outside. So I actually need to go and redo uh, the driver's side, which we did earlier, because I had the bolt sticking out here and it needs to be the other way. So make sure that uh, the bolt's on the inside and we're pretty much done. 
I think they look pretty sharp. Really adds a little bit of character and hopefully some functionality. Keep all that dirty water from flipping up on the side of the car. That would be why they call them splash guards, right? I think you should be able to do this project in probably about under two hours. Um, it's pretty easy. And if you're going for it and not filming, you should be able to get it done quick. Well, that was a great project. Didn't take too long. Pretty easy. Hopefully uh, you guys got some tips if you're planning on doing this to your Jetta. Anyway, thanks for watching and until next time, take it easy.